here in important notice. Before you start upgrade your PC, please make sure you have your recovery USB ready. It's very important for you to do that. Hello everyone. Today I'm gonna upgrade my HP 34 inch curved screen all in one desktop into the SSD. That's all the tool you have to get ready. And now you can see I'm carefully lay down my PC on the soft survey on the table. You can look closely, you can see there's cover with a screw on another side as well. I use this small tool to open it up. Same as the other side. And you turn a little bit until you hear the click. It pop up. And now you can keep opening to the other side. It's like after I open, it looks like this. So you slightly, carefully take it out. This PC you have to open from the front to remove the screen first. So you can open. Yes, it has double tap. Stick it out together. And same as the top. You will see there's the screen over there. The wire is connected, so you have to really carefully, slowly to open. Same as the both sides bigger. So now I take the film out. So we can go to the next step. Here how it looks like after the film has been taken out. So there's like some screw holding the screen. Same as both sides on the bottom. I use my mini screwdriver to open to take all the screw. Now the screen has been removed, but there's still wire some stick with the motherboard. But it's just long enough to lay down screen without unplug any wire. You can see there's the motherboard. You can see the fan. This is how it looks like after the screen has been removed. You can see the wire just long enough to lay down the screen safely. Okay, this is how it looks like inside. You can see the fan, you can see the hard driver. This is where they're hiding it. It's mini hard driver. You can see there's two screws on the top, one screw on the down. And you have to unscrew it, take it out. And the wire is really close to the motherboard so you carefully unplug it before you take it out now you can see both sides is four screw holding the hard driver so very carefully unplug it first to take it out now i have been removed out this the stock hard driver looks very small and slim but it's slow i replaced it with my sandisk SSD and then I put it back in the same place you can see I plug it again connect it make sure everything connected I really want to see what's behind the motherboard so I remove the drug, the screw on the side and take this out
how she looked like the motherboard. There's three screw on the bottom and the top. I figured out the cooling system is stick with the motherboard, so I had to remove this screw. And now I take it out. You can see there's two slots of the memory stick over there if you want to upgrade them. Normally they come with like 12 GB, I believe. And the CPU over there as well. i5. I think now it's time to put all everything back to normal. Okay, since everything has been done. So now I plug in my recovery USB. Looks great. Everything works well. Okay, thank you for watching.